The gentleman from Illinois is recognized for two minutes. Madam Chair, in my office, there are two photographs, one with me in Edwards Deming and the other of Dr. Ray Demadian, who is the inventor of the MRI. Dr. Demadian visited our office, and I said, what's wrong with this bill? He said, everything. He said, if this bill were law when I was inventing the MRI, today we would not have the MRI. There are a lot of problems with this bill. This is my fourth patent fight um, with, with my esteemed colleague from Texas, but we do agree on most issues, but now we have two persons who simply disagree on policy. Back in 2004, when I chaired the Small Business Committee, I was instrumental in putting in a fixed fee structure for small businesses. And to do that, I had stricken from the bill the authority of the PTO director to set fees. This new bill gives to the PTO director the ability to set fees, even though the, the initial filing fees for small businesses have been lowered. The problem is that the, the PTO can come in and simply raise fees to, to so-called manage their operations. In fact, two reports, the 21st Century Strategic Plan filed in June of 2002 by the U.S. PTO said fees based upon a highly progressive system aimed at strictly limited, limiting applications containing very high num number of claims, and also the same thing in 2007. Their idea of decreasing claims in the patent office is to raise fees. Obviously, who's that going to hurt? It's going to be the little guy. And that's why it's one of many reasons I oppose this bill, but we should not delegate the authority that Congress has to set fees in one of the few constitutional functions that we have in this body over to somebody who has already stated that he's going to raise fees. You raise fees, guess who gets hurt? The future raid medians, the little inventors, the people who invent things in this country, the true creators of jobs. And I would yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman 